you've arrived at this store, then you know it's art time. Uh, this is the art room, and I think it's about time to officially get started. You, you're here. Wait, you're not here. Well, you're here, but you weren't here when I filmed this video. So now that you're here, you are probably sitting right on that carpet, looking at that screen and watching this whole thing unfold. Hello, I'm Miss Danielson, your art teacher. Wait, what? Okay, that's better. I'm Miss Danielson, your art teacher. Welcome to art. I'm so glad to see you. I'm going to go ahead and just tell you a little bit more about the art room and me and and you and what you're supposed to do when you're here too because we are kicking off a fantastic new year. You might be sitting at the carpet now but we're actually going to change things up a little bit this year. We are going to come in through the door and actually head to our tables first this year. That's a little different than what we've done in the past. What my thought is, is that we'll come in and go to the table and get our jobs done. If we get our jobs done quickly, then we can get to our learning faster and then we can get to art faster. As you're walking to your table, it's really important that we look at the job charts. The job charts are always posted over here above the drinking fountain and they tell you what your job is. So for example, if we just focus in on second grade right now, the pink paper says papers and folders, the yellow says crayons. So what does that mean? Well, it means when you look at the table where you're sitting at, the person at the pink spot, even though that's looking kind of red, is going to do the pink job. So what did it say again? Papers in folders. So at the end of art, you will take everybody's papers from your table and you'll put them in your folder. This one says table one because I'm standing at table one. The yellow job, which says crayons, is going to be done by the person sitting at the yellow spot in the corner of the table. Those crayons might be located whoa, in the back of the room or maybe in the middle of the room on a supply table. The yellow person will probably kind of act like a waiter or a waitress and they'll bring those crayons over to their table whoa, 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 and set them down so that everybody at table one can use them. At the end of art, they also have to put them away. So when you're looking at the chart, the jobs will tell you what you have to do. Sometimes you don't have a job. You'll notice there's no green paper nor blue paper in that particular chart. That means those two people that are sitting at the green or the blue should come to the carpet. When we come to the carpet, we're ready to listen. For example, with the third grade chart, everybody at the table has a job. And if someone's missing at a spot because no one's sitting there, someone might have two jobs. I'm not gonna make a rule about that. I hope that we can use teamwork and cooperation and just get the jobs done. Fourth grade has three people working. Fifth grade has all four people again. So communication, teamwork, and something called efficiency, which means do it quickly, please, because we want to get to the carpet. That's really important when it comes time to do our jobs. And now it's time to remember that our Endeavor beliefs need to come to the art room with us. So just because you have changed rooms, it does not mean that we stop doing those things or showing those behaviors that make our school such a fantastic place. So when you walk into the art room, you also need to remember to be respectful, to be responsible, to be safe and be kind. 
those beliefs are right behind me on the wall. That probably looks pretty familiar. You're going to see those same beliefs all over our school because it's something that our entire school is going to work on this year. When you are sitting on the carpet, I am going to be looking for two extraordinary people. Those two extraordinary people are showing our four endeavor beliefs. They are sitting respectfully. They are being responsible in who they sit by. They are safe because they're keeping their hands and their feet to themselves. And they're being kind. They're being kind not only to me, but to the people around them. And if you are one of those two people, and I noticed those things about you, I am going to choose you to do a special job for us. If I choose you, I'll have you sit in one of those two chairs. Those are the scout chairs. And when you're sitting there, you're noticing all of the kids in front of you. Plus, you're still paying attention to whatever we're learning about that day. If you're sitting there, at the end of carpet time, you get to give away two Explorer tickets to two people that you think are showing the four beliefs. Explorer tickets look like this. You'll learn more about them with your regular classroom teacher, but believe me, they are going to help our whole school get some pretty cool things. Again, the scouts are the two people that come in and sit showing all four beliefs and then are noticing those four beliefs from other students. Okay, I think it's time for a break. You guys have been doing a great job of listening. So, when I say stand, go ahead and safely stand up. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to move our bodies a little bit. So, are you ready? Okay, time to Sometimes kids 
kids actually are better teachers than the teacher. It might feel like we never leave the carpet, but that's just today. Typically, you'll walk in that door, you'll head to your table, check your jobs, do your jobs, and then come to the carpet area. The carpet area is where we learn. Once we're done learning at the carpet area and the scouts give out their awards, then we'll head off to one of our tables. There's eight tables in this room and you'll be a part of one of them. We'll talk about that in just a second because I've picked your seats for this first little go around so that make sure that each table has an awesome team. And again, you'll be part of that team. The tables is where we actually do our art. The carpet is where we learn about art. So, Thanks for being such good sports and watching this video. I know there's still a lot that I need to tell you about, but I don't know that right now is a good time. I feel like you're probably starting to get pretty curious about what projects we might be doing this year. And so I think we'll stop the craziness and start learning a little bit more about our first project. I'm excited you're here. I think we're gonna have an awesome time.